Hi, everybody. So today I just wanted to talk to you about the energies because they are really big and we're kind of looking at a lot of change about to happen. And people have been asking me, is it going to be this year? Are we going to finally see change this year? So, I mean, ultimately it's up to us, humanity as a group. But the people that are not wanting change, they're being pushed into seeing things that they were never wanted to see. So we're at a point now where a huge part of the population is awake and change is inevitable. And this is going to be change that we probably have never imagined as we go forward. So we are in that seven year window from 2020 to 2027. But I do feel like this is the last really difficult year that we have. And I do feel that projects will get started this year. And that a lot of things will change, especially in the upper parallels. Now, if you've had something happen that you felt like it dropped your frequency, just remember that we're learning and we're basically creating change and sometimes things slip through still. So don't get stuck if something kind of negative happens. Ask yourself if it was one of your shadows if it's a generational curse that needs to be cleared up, we still have some of that going on. And we've had shadows that are basically for an entire group of beings, too. I've seen those come up. So, and the whole collective was just in the process, not this weekend, but the weekend before the shadow that came up was letting go of difference and letting go of worthiness that's attached to being different. And those differences could be that person has the gift of sight and I want that. So why don't I have that? So acknowledging the gifts that you do have will bring you into more gifts. So that's important to remember. And there will be a big gift activation that we do in June, Z and I. But right now, we're really releasing things. So as you feel things come up, like this morning, I could feel the anxiety in my body. And if you feel that, it's like a pressure. It's because the energy is changing. And your body's being pushed to let go of more stuff, more programming, um, things that are really not serving you anymore. So when you have that happen, spiral those things out of your body. So you can ask, for the earth to transmute them, you can ask for God source to transmute them, whatever it is that works for you, do that and spiral that out of your body along with whatever programming is trying to be released in that moment. We don't have to know every single thing that's being let go of because human consciousness has an immense amount of things that we're letting go of right now. And we're springing up. So in order to do that, we need to let go of the old stuff because it's like an anchor. But I see a lot of things happening in the near future. And I'm hoping that resistance is broken down enough that it's been released enough that we see some really big changes on the horizon. 
So I'm very excited for humanity in general. And I know we're all in slightly different head spaces, slightly different parallels. But the ones who have chosen to go through ascension, it's really a beautiful thing. And even if you're feeling like, oh, I fell behind, as long as you're still focused on ascension, you're going to spring back up. And you can spring up several parallels very quickly as you let go of things. So really the biggest thing that we're doing is uncovering our real self through all this healing that we're doing and all of this releasing that we're doing. And as we do that, we're realizing that we create our own reality, that we are this beautiful being and group of beings, and that we're going forward and what we've experienced in the past is going to stay in the past. So we're not going to be experiencing those things anymore. Things are going to be morphing and changing. And all the grossness is bubbling around up at the top of the surface. Like a pot of dirty water. You know, all the sludge is up at the top. And that is going to be skimmed off. So we're not going to be seeing that much longer. So try not to pay that much attention to it. I know for me, I've been very excited that a lot of things have been brought out to the public. And the public is saying no. They're saying no all over the place. And it's a chaotic time, but it's really just the... It's the release of the shadow of humanity and the shadow of the Anunnaki. Because even though they're not here anymore, they still have some DNA that's here, not in its true form, but they also have residue of consciousness. And that's what all these layers are. We've had all these layers, all these different games that have played out from the time of Atlantis all the way up until now. We've had layer after layer of intense energy that didn't necessarily work. So it got folded up. That game got folded up and we started again. Because the main goal was learning and ascension. And we're in ascension now. So we're not learning in the same old way anymore. So I would celebrate that. And do all the things that you can do that support yourself and love yourself through this. So... I do expect to see some amazing things this summer and even this month. So I hope you have a fabulous time in May with all the revelations that are popping up. And if you're coming to California or if you live there, I would love to see you. That would be lovely. Um, Yeah, but I'm just excited for the future. And every time we go through one of these, it's we're getting better on the other side of it. Things are getting better. So have an absolutely beautiful, happy Mother's Day. And know that Mother Earth is here supporting us, loving us, and all the souls and the great mothers everywhere, and that includes you if you're a mother. Thank you to all of you for what you've done and brought forward, because it's really amazing right now. 
I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.